hello guys and welcome back so now we will work on our add data button so right here we will type async and then right here we will say widget dot title focus node dot and focus and after this we will say widget dot description focus node dot and focus and right here now we will use the validation we will first check the validation if the user input any data inside its text field or not so for that right here we will use a if condition so if the add item form key first we will check the current state so we will type dot current state and then right here we will use validate then we will set state and we will set the is processing to true so this means if the user type some data inside this text field and click this add data function this add data button then we will set the is processing to true okay and by default as you know it is equals to false so we will set it to true and after this set state we will say update database okay make sure to import the database dot dot file at the top okay so database as you can see right here make sure to import that at the top so database dot add item as you know that on the database dot dot file we have this function which is add item and what this function do i already explained it in the previous video in the functions video so make sure to watch that this function will upload our data to the database first it will be a user id and inside that user id we will have the items collection path and inside that items collection path we will have the title and description okay so right here the title will be equals to the underscore title controller then dot text okay so this means that we will equal the title to the underscore title controller okay this one whatever the user type in it it will be uh, stored inside the uh, title controller and then the title controller is equals to this title and then the description will be equals to the underscore description controller and then we will change it to dot text after this we will again set state and this time the is processing will be equals to false and then after this we will say navigator dot of context dot pop and that's it so now whenever the user click on this add data function then in the background all of this will happen it will first validate the input fields and then it will set the processing to true and then this uh, data will be uploaded to our database by using this function add item as you can see and if there uh, any problem happens then we will set this processing to false and then okay so if we scroll up right here we will create two variables the first one will be get title and it will be equals to null and then the next one will be get description it will be also equals to null and now if we scroll down so cut this all and remove this equal sign right here we will add curly bracket and right here we will add a semicolon 
and put a comma right here and after this we will type get title equals to value and add a semicolon ok so we will do the same for the description as well so we will just simply copy this validator from here and if we scroll down we will just remove this validator and paste that one and right here we will change the variable name to get description is equals to value and now if we open up the database dot dot file so as you can see we are passing the title and description so now if we go back to the login form dot dot file ok get back to the head item form dot dot file right here so right here inside this own pressed we will remove this and we will call that variable which is get title and right here we will call the get description and now if we get back to the login underscore form dot dot right here we will create a variable and we will name this as get id and this will be equals to null and right here in the validator we will do the same we will just simply copy and paste that validator right here as well so paste it and change this to get id and now if we scroll down inside this on pressed right here we will remove this and this will be equals to the get id variable so make sure that you follow me and follow these steps now if we refresh our application right here we will enter our id and now if we click on this login we are redirected to the home screen and right here i will type sleep time the title will be sleep time and the description will be this and now if i click on this add data as you can see we are redirected to the home screen again which means our data is now uploaded as you can see so as you can see this is our id so it means that data is uploaded now if we refresh our database and as you can see we have the collection notes then we have this user id and inside this user id we have this items and inside the items we have this specific id and as you can see here is the title here is the description so now our data is now uploading to the database